The trailer is out, the daughters of Atlas were freed, and they might just find a way to introduce Black Adam at the end of the movie, just like they did with Superman and Black Adam at the end. Speaking of Superman, the trailer starts with Billy Botson confessing to a psychiatrist that he is feeling like an outsider. He points to all of the cool superheroes in the DC Universe and says that he is basically a poor man's version of the Flash, like Shazam. He also has a red suit, is super fast, and has a yellow lightning bolt on his chest. This is where things get interesting. First of all, we knew that the cast had an upgrade in the costume department. In Shazam! Fury of the Gods, we will no longer be seeing those dorky bright red, green, blue, purple, and whatnot. In this second movie, they were changed and no longer looked like a three-year-old drew them on a sketching book. Speaking of the heroes, even though the main crew is back, there are some changes in their superhero selves. Sure, we have Billy Botson, Freddie Freeman, Mary Bromfield, Eugene Choi, Pedro Pena, and Darla Dudley back as their childhood selves, but the superheroes are not the same. For example, a lot has changed since the release date of the first Shazam movie in 2019. Some of the actors have grown up, and now the actress who plays Mary Bromfield, Grace Caroline Curry, is old enough to be portraying even her adult superhero version in the second movie. This means actress Michelle Borth will not be returning in Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Thankfully, she is the only exception, so we will be seeing more of Zachary Levi in the movie, as well as all of the other superheroes and children from Shazam! 2019. We'll talk about the Daughters of Atlas in a little while, but first, let's give a little insight on the release date and what Warner Bros. CEO David Zaflos has to say about the movie. As you may already know, Shazam! Fury of the Gods was supposed to hit theaters on April 1st of 2022. We don't know if it was a delay because of the pandemic, as they said, or because they wanted to pull an April Fool's prank on us, but whatever it was, they pushed it back to November of 2022. And you would think they'd end there. But no, they went ahead and changed the date to June 2nd, 2023, then said, no, wait, we can get it in theaters earlier, and they announced that the movie will be released on December 16th. But then they changed their mind, or rather, Avatar The Way of Water changed their mind with its raging popularity, so they decided to push the release date to December 21st, 2022, and then they did it again. Many fans didn't even notice this, but we didn't know what to do. They were constantly changing dates. Eventually, they decided to go with March 17th, 2023, the date they released in their official trailer on Warner Bros. YouTube channel. And since we're talking about all of these changes, we should mention that the CEO of Warner Bros., David Zasla, had to say about all of these changes. We have seen The Flash, Black Adam, and Shazam 2. We are very excited about the We See Them. We think they are terrific, and we think we can make them even better. That's fine, but we seriously hope there are no more changes. Now, back to the plot and the new additions to the cast. As you may have already known from the teaser trailer they released almost a year ago, the Daughters of Atlas will be the main villains in Shazam! Fury of the Gods. There are three of them, and here's who will be playing them. Hespera will be portrayed by Helen Mirren, Lucy Liu will take on the role of Calypso, and Anthea's role will be assumed by Rachel Zegler. But wait a second, these three sisters aren't based on pre-existing DC characters, so whom are they based on? Just like Shazam takes his powers from six different Greek gods, Calypso, Hespera, and Anthea are taken straight out of Greek mythology. They are nymphs, some sort of mystic spirits that appear in nature and can assume the form of a beautiful woman. As children of Atlas, they have been tasked with protecting the garden with a golden apple. Remember this golden apple, because we will be returning to it in a minute or so. The nymphs will either help the men that stumble in their garden, or they will find a way to toy with them and end them to their will. While Hespera is busy protecting the golden apple tree, Calypso, inspired by the mythological character known as Calypso, with a C, is busy protecting an ancient Greek island. Her superpower is captivating men with her song and dance. After all, she did manage to trap Odysseus for seven years on her island. In the movie, we didn't see her captivating men with her voice and dancing, but we did see her sprouting a giant vine right in the middle of the stadium that basically took over the entire town. The last daughter, Anthea, is the youngest of the daughters of Atlas. She is the girl who has a son with Hercules and was portrayed as a princess in Greek mythology. 
However, Shazam! Fury of the Gods will paint Anthea in a different light. To talk about the plot, we first have to talk about the title. Think about it. Why is the movie named Fury of the Gods? We didn't really know either, so we did a quick research online and found out that the Daughters of Atlas are angry with Shazam. Why? Because Billy Batson not only used the magic staff from Thaddeus Ivana to give all of his foster sibling superpowers, but he also broke it. So maybe by doing this, he weakened the powers of the six Greek gods, Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury. Remember that golden apple we were talking about? Well, in the trailer, that apple is black, and so are the unicorns that are riding near the end of the trailer. This suggests to us that the gods and the garden lost their magic to the Shazam family. After taking the magic staff, which was displayed in a museum in Greece, overlooking the Parthenon in Greece, Hespera reaches out for the magic staff. The blue lightning surges through her body, and next, we will see the staff intact in Calypso's hand. While the two sisters are tasked to make Shazam and the rest of the kids pay for their insolence, Anthea doesn't seem to be on their side. In fact, we even saw her with Freddie Freeman in the movie, talking and smiling at each other. Could this be the sister that finally sides with the humans and leaves her sisters behind? Well, it seems like it. First, there was this scene where Anthea is standing aside from her two other sisters as they announce that they recombine the magic staff. Second, she is blasted by powerful blue lightning. We know that Shazam's lightning is white, so this is probably from the magic staff that her sisters willed. On top of that, she and Freddie Freeman seem to be staring right into the mouth of the dragon that the sisters unleashed into the human world to wreak havoc. And the dragon is not the only mythical creature our heroes will be fighting. And of course, how could we forget about the Black Adam cameo? Dwayne Johnson's movie Black Adam is breaking box office records as we speak. His solo movie did come out before Fury of the Gods, and we know he's part of the seven heroes. They said so themselves when they were sitting in the room with the seven stone thrones at the end of the first movie. Of course, David F. Sandberg, the director of both Shazam movies, had to tease us and say that there is a possibility Black Adam could make an appearance on Shazam Fury of the Gods, so maybe he'll finally assume his rightful place on the seventh throne. Or maybe he and Shazam will get into an epic brawl. What do you think? Smash that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, smash that subscribe button just like you should if you haven't done that already. But no, seriously, we'll see you in the next video.